In Portland, nothing new, but it used to be when torrential rain would fall, entire first floors of buildings would flood all over the city. This week marks the worst flood in our city's history. Worse than 1996, worse than Vanport in 1948. This week is the 125th anniversary of the flood of 1894. Never heard of it? Well, in the first of our new segments we call Sunrise Rewind, we took the history geek behind the Kick-Ass Oregon History Podcast for a walk to show us. We didn't have all the, wall, all the dams on the Columbia and the Willamette, so not to sound too hippie, but at that time the river was just allowed to be a river, man. The Great Flood of June 1894, water 33 feet above low water. Whatever that means. It means it was really high up through the first story of buildings. Check out the horse drawn carriages and boats, over a thousand of them, estimated by the Oregonian. It was front page news for days while cattle died and docks and homes washed away. The map marked swaths of the city 15 blocks in from the river submerged. But flooding was pretty standard, and look at why. This is film we dug out of the KGW basement from 1929, taken on the Willamette. Everything was built on stilts right over top and at water's edge. Not too smart. There was no seawall, nothing to hold it back. The Morrison Bridge looked like it was floating, but that's not all because the river was the sewer, so when it flooded, it was gross. That's why the city finally got smart and built the seawall in 1929. Divers worked to anchor the barrier that would stop all this madness. Historian Doug and I walked the streets to match up the old photos with today to see how much has really changed. Take Third and Washington. I think it's pretty close. The old telegraph building still stands. Wooden paths built over the water where our modern cars now pass, and businesses open through the flood. There's a lot that's similar. So this used to be selling cigars. Cigars. It looks Cigar like a lot of cigars. Okay, let's see if we can recreate it. Old on top of new. A lot of these kind of laboring men that were living down in Old Town had lots of work all of a sudden. They had opportunities to move goods to higher ground and to also row these boats for people. You know, if you were a well-dressed businessman, you didn't want to wait. It was the it. Uber of 1894. Exactly. We've got an 80s style building here. Yeah, yeah. But always this was a rail car line. Yeah, exactly. You know, we can see on the old photograph, the streetcar here. It's just a classic example of what has changed, but then kind of built up around this infrastructure that has not changed. Kind of eerie, don't you think? like ghosts of 125 years ago moving right alongside us. Doug does walking tours about Portland history, getting us to reconnect with our city. So this is that. We have an old picture of the building you guys are working on. And they're fixing the bricks right there. Good to see. June 1894. There you go, a little Portland yeah, exactly. history. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah, they were actually unearthing some of the old windows and they ran over because they could see that we were looking at an old photo and they wanted to know the original oh, like funny, look I of bet. the building because that was helping them um, in the new construction. But um, Doug has a walking tour coming up this Saturday about this whole flood. He's going to walk you all around to all these blocks. We have all the information coming up this morning on KGW.com. There's that high water mark. It's across the street from Kells on 2nd and it shows like it would be up to oh, our man. neck right now. Holy.